The views and comments expressed on the following radio program by its hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. Again, Screaming Bossy, season three. Yes, she thinks she's the reality show, love and hip hop and all that. So she got seasons, and this is episode three. And I have a hot show today, y'all. I feel like I just drank a big, tall gl- cup of coffee because I'm very energetic. I have some great energy in the building. We have number one, my queen, Natural Red, this sister, been representing. I mean, like, out here for a long time doing her thing. I definitely really respect her. She's always show love. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women's and sisters on all the show love. So we have her in the building. We have her brother, Nina Boy. Super hot, handsome young brother out here doing his thing, representing, going hard with my man Nature Films. They do nothing but videos, y'all. Got a lot of hot stuff. We're going to bring some videos in here from Nina Boy. And we got another sister, Bougie LaFlair, in the building. So besides all my hot artists, right? Y'all know I got words from the wise with my man Supreme. And you know I got them words. Words, uh, what the JG says with the words from China. We're going to teach y'all some new words up in here today. The phone number is 323-965-1600. I need you guys to call in. Today's topic is relationships. When to leave a to- toxic relationship. Y'all know when my mouth get dry, that means I need some alka shadow water, right? Alka shadow break. So the topic today, when to leave a toxic relationship, y'all. If it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, if it's your man, your woman, even if it's your husband or your wife. How about if it's your business partner? How about if it's your friend? How about if it's your homegirl, your best friend? You feel me? If anybody's toxic around you or you have some advice you want to give to those people who are dealing with those type of relationships, please, again, the number is 323-965-1600. Now, last I cannot leave out, we have a great thing in here now where I can play all that ratchet shit for y'all. I know y'all like that ratchet shit. I'd be like, I'm not a ratchet bitch, but I love that ratchet music, right? Mm -hmm. So I got DJ Caliber in the building. Y'all gonna hear some ratchet shit. Y'all gonna hear some old school music, some gang of Tupac. But y'all gonna keep y'all turned up. You know what I'm saying? So what I wanna do, actually... It's getting to some DJ Caliber in a minute. We're going to get to him in a minute. And I'm going to let him do a nice little mix, y'all. So this is like my DJ in the building. You know, there's uh, four elements to the hip-hop, the real hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, back in the days. And DJ used to have her DJ Kit Kat. Salute to DJ Kit Kat. But now I got DJ Caliber in the building representing the radio show. And I have a couple announcements also before I bring Caliber on that I want to mention and get out the way. So first off, I got this this ring on my finger. Y'all like, Bossy done hit the lottery. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Salute to Jerry. My man Jerry, he actually uh, makes these rings. He's on uh, Facebook. Jerry, ooh, I cannot say his name. I'm gonna go on my purse, y'all, and get the. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna spell it because I got to. Right? I can't not do it because y'all gotta look him up. It's a uh, Z A R. Mmm, damn. K E E. He spelled his name crazy on here. But anyways, y'all look on my wall. Y'all seen the ring when I posted it. Salute to Jerry, y'all. He makes rings for a lot of W. What's the what's that UFC? Fighters, uh, Brian, help me the, out. WWC. No, the, the UFC fighters. Oh, the UFC. Yeah, yeah he yeah. make rings yeah. for those. He made Snoop Dogg ring. You know, a lot of different people ring. Right. So, Bossy got a ring. And also, I want to show you guys something that happened today. I want to give a uh, thanks. I sent some pictures. Did you get those pictures, Kev, with me with all those people on it? I um actually went today, you guys. We went out to Dinker Park in the hood, Los Angeles. My mama from Harlem Crip. Anybody know about Dinker Park that's from them hoods, y'all like gangbang and shit? That's 30 hoods, you feel me? To all you 40, 60s, you blood niggas, Crips niggas. Y'all niggas need to get along. What that, what that song got in the background while I'm talking about this shit, Kev? Y'all niggas need to get along. The hood recognized Boston today. You know what I'm saying? So I love all my Crips, my Bloods, and my SAs, and the Chinese people. You see I got JG here. No, I'm just playing, y'all. But Boston got a city... Of Los Angeles in recognition, Miss Bossy 
See, they spelled my name wrong. You should almost got an attitude, y'all, while I was getting recognized. And it says Global Streetway. The city of Los Angeles and Council District 8 joins in recognition your contribution towards No Child Left Behind Stay in School Giveaway. Your commitment and de- dedication to uplift the community has helped make the city of Los Angeles a better place in which to live. September 25th, this was by Marquise Harris Dawson, the Los Angeles City Council member, member 8th Council District. You saw I was trying to talk sophisticated and ghetto and crazy at the same time. And um, this is what Bossy got today, y'all. So I got recognized. Thank y'all. Can I get a hand clap? And you know, Bossy's now not only known for cussing niggas out, and I'm talking about brothers yeah. literally, now I'm known by the city for representing and helping with the kids. So I cuss niggas out, I help the kids, it all goes together, right? So now what we gonna do, y'all? I got a nice show today. I got a topic we need to talk about. And I got some hot guests. I'd rather get them up here and let y'all get in tune with them. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to a Caliber mix. Caliber, are you ready? Yes. You ready, baby? So let people say what's up to the people right quick. How's everybody doing out there? Okay. Let's get a hand clap for Caliber, man, one more time. Now, DJ Caliber, how you going to make us feel today up in here? Man, I'm just trying to turn you all up. All right. So let's get to that shit, man. Turn us up. I'm ready to party up in here. Mm. Turn up. Turn. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like real radio up in this mug. Power 106. You just got Global Street Wave now. Screaming Bossy. JG says in Supreme with the words from the wise. Now we got DJ Caliber in the building. Nina Boy, y'all don't go nowhere. We got Natural Red in the building. Bougie LaFleur, y'all. It's on today. Popping. We need some mollies up in here. <laughs> we popping like mollies. I'm ready to get to sweating. You we ready, DJ Caliber? <laughs> Come on. I'm just talking to you. You're supposed to cut me off. You all right?
is screaming, Bossy is back. I told y'all I'd be screaming at people. All right, y'all. So we got a hot show. We're going to keep it moving. What I want to do is I want to introduce my man Supreme on the show. Supreme is the words from the wise. We're going to get straight to the words from the wise that JG said so I can bring the guests on and all that good stuff and get to our topic. Because if we want to have, you know, this discussion, we've got some things people need to learn and maybe we can learn. So let's give a big salute to my man. Um, first off, DJ Caliber. For that nice mix. You feel me? Please send me why they always say. And then you be coming in, y'all. DJ Caliber also be displaying his own beat. So, y'all ever want to get a DJ Caliber? You know, don't hesitate. Number is 323-965-1600. Y'all give us a call. We got Nina Boy. And we got Natural Red in the building. And right now, we're going to get to the JG says so we can get the guests up in here and doing their thing. What's up, JG? Not JG. <laughs> says, I'm going to go to Words from the Wise, y'all. I'm sorry. Wise. Words from the Wise. JG right, right, says right. is next. My yeah. bad. Brian was so patient, like, uh, was she talking to me? Okay, quit on pause. All right, now. Nah. Yeah, so anyway, can we give him his hand clap, y'all, while I'm over here fucking up? All right, what's up, y'all? Words from the Wise. My word for this week is choose. Today I choose to be happy. I choose to let go. I choose to be myself, to cherish myself. Today I choose to let go of the people whose company is toxic to my peace of mind. Today I choose to be free. I choose to liberate my soul from the aches it's been through. Today I choose to stay away from closed doors. Today I choose to forgive myself for being too much of myself. Today I choose to embrace my flaws. I choose to accept my mistakes. Today I choose to change. I choose to be better. I choose to move forward. I choose to move good with my soul. Today I choose to be brave. I choose to say no when saying yes hurts. Yes. Today I choose to be wise. I choose to walk away from places I don't belong. I choose to embrace my time for all that is timeless is precious. Yes. All that is precious is unique. All that is unique is different. And all that is different is beautiful. Today I choose to be beautiful. That's I'm right. Brian Williams with words from the wise. Hey Amen. Hallelujah Amen. to that one, y'all. You feel me? Y'all gonna go to church on Sundays all y'all want. Y'all tune in the Global Streetway. We're gonna keep giving y'all that real church. And I like that about the choosing because it's relating, Brian, to our topic today, which again is relationships when to leave toxic relationships or toxic situations. Right. And that's definitely uh, dealing with choices. So definitely. well, let's get into this JG says and let's learn us some new Chinese words when we cut their ass out in the nail shop. For well, that's sure. the reason. <laughs> right. Understand? Yeah. Help us cut your people out, JG. Get them niggas some words. No, I'm just playing. Hold what on. Up? I gotta introduce you. I'm just talking shit first. So y'all, we got uh, my man, JG. I got a number one and give him a big salute. JG's been riding with a sister. He's uh the reason why Screamer Bossy and Global Street Wave will be going to LA Talk Live. So I appreciate him. I appreciate him with the alkaline water, you know, alka shatter, bringing that purity into the building. And um, he went out today with us when I got recognized with the city and my girl Nakia Brown. She had a Backpack giveaway today again at Dinker Park and 30 Sid Cubs. No, I'm just playing y'all. Mm-hmm. But um, she had a giveaway today for the kids and my man JG and Supreme. They all we brought backpacks and get you know stuff for the kids. So I appreciate these brothers really you know being there with me, not just here on the camera while I'm acting the ass with y'all, but just out in the streets too when we do our community activist stuff. So let's give a salute to both of my men and then we're gonna get to the JG says. So JG, uh, besides me, saw that other ignorant stuff. Let us learn some great things today from you, Sister JG. What do you have to say? <laughs> um, I just want to say, you know, thank you, Miss Bossy, for letting me exercise my First Amendment on the show. Uh, it's definitely, a, you know, a privilege, you know what I mean? Yes. And a Chinese word that I have for you guys today is Hei Mong Joy Yan Gon. It means that no matter how toxic your situation is, find the hope and the light in it. That's right. Because there are still people in society that basically, you know, have that same hope as you do. That's so right. So goes back to the law of attraction. If you uh, put your mind to it and you attract the love, you will get the hope, you know what I mean? And the hope will create opportunities for yeah, you to okay. find happiness. Yeah, so that's, right. that's what Hei Mong Joy Yang Gun means. 
That's right. Hey, yeah. so thank you, y'all. Done. Thank you, thank you, man. So I right. appreciate you guys with the words from the wise. Y'all, I got to give another shout out, man. Uh, my man AJ, y'all have not seen Bossy uh, in her sexiness at all yet. Y'all just uh-huh. wait. And I ain't going to put them all on no Facebook either. But uh, Sin Magazine, y'all, Success in Neighborhoods. It was Sex Implied Nude, and he still does uh, deals with a lot of those young ladies, too, with those beautiful, sexy pictures. But I got to give a salute to my man AJ. He put me on the cover of my old gangster-ass hard, rough look. I'm kind of regret and want to use a sexy picture for y'all, right? But I'm going to give y'all the naked almost bossy in the next one. And then this is KB. So these are a couple of covers. You know, the last uh, action one, one was Salute to My Girl Chrissy, Candy Cane Consultant. She got uh, Brandon Browner on the last cover that I don't have on, uh, on hand right now. So this is the back cover of it. But uh, from the Patriots. So we've been doing our thing, man, in the streets. But I just have to say what's up to my man, AJ. Y'all check AJ out. AJ is not only known for as far as these magazines he's been creating, but he's definitely a great photographer. So that's why I have to give my man uh, one sin magazine at Gmail. Y'all check that brother out and uh, go like sin magazine on Facebook. Go push like on Candy Cane Consultants on Facebook. Go push like on Global Streetway. And every artist in here, when y'all see people in here, go look it up on Facebook. You feel me? Push like on our pages. We need those, you know, those likes. And besides that, what we're going to do is uh, get into our one of our first guests. I've actually confused you, Kev. So before I bring uh, my man Nina Boy up, we're going to play a video. Okay, one of Nina Boy videos. And so forgive me for confusing you, Kev, between me and you with that letter note. I just wrote you a little side note. And um, this brother, Nina Boy, I got to track you guys on and on that I know you guys been hearing me uh, promote. I did not put it up on SoundCloud or none of that, and I'm not putting it up on SoundCloud or none of that. But I want to actually do a video. Nature Films is uh, in the building today. He's going to actually help. Nina Boy is going to help me put a video together. So I'm really appreciating these brothers. And, you know, when you look out for people, people look out for you, and we help each other. We're what we're supposed to be doing so that's what bossy's about you know so i got nina boy in the building y'all gonna get to know a little about a bit about what's going on with him and again i need you people that's watching call in 323-965-1600 and go be nosy go look people up on the internet go like their page you feel me share their music do everything support you know that's always needed so the first video we're gonna play before we get nina boy on here is ain't loyal so this track is to all my people out in the streets who is loyal and to who ain't loyal this is for y'all ass. Ain't loyal. Nina Boy. Nature Films. Niggas ain't loyal. It's loyalty over royalty. Niggas Step before the song, that's how I was raised. 3,500 days. UBG Trey. Huh? Niggas ain't loyal. It's loyalty over royalty. Step before the sauna. Now these niggas getting money, Mr. Screw. It's loyalty over royalty, death before the sign I gotta keep the Now these niggas getting money, Mr. Screw. It's loyalty over royalty, death before the sign Now these niggas getting money, Mr. Screw. It's loyalty over royalty, death before the sign Now these niggas getting money, Mr. Screw. Fish scales with the snow, I'm leaning. Gotta keep a Bosco, hurt these niggas scheming. They took SA, damn time you see. Oh, D Ray on my soul, I'ma ride on the B. Front line, front line with the heat. Never leave the homie sleep. We come creep. Extra ammo. Niggas know what's happening. Ha. Niggas know what's bracking. 1250 is an army fucking navy, nigga. Gun charge, three rails. You tryna play me, nigga? Lord, he stink like some dinosaurs. So we caught four and fuck y'all like some old whores. It's Lord T on the rugs. He never for the sauna. Now these niggas getting money, Mr. Screw. It's loyalty over royalty, death before the sign. I gotta keep the Now these niggas getting money, Mr. Screw. It's loyalty over royalty, death before the sign. Loyalty over royalty, nigga. Now these niggas getting money, Mr. Screw. Shit. Double balling on these niggas, though. They still hate no really. Now these niggas getting money, Mr. Screw. I been through the struggle, now it's over, nigga I'm double boiling on these suckers and I'm busting, nigga I got the ladder hanging out, and these hoes choosing And these hoes ain't loyal, so you know they losing Caught them at the taco stand, make the nigga freeze up Chucking up the neighborhood, know I got that ease up Parked at the light and shot them rounds at his beam up Fuck his baby mama, then I broke her for a visa These hoes ain't loyal, I ain't loyal neither So you can keep your baby daddy, I ain't trying to keep you I'm scrolling down my car, Lord, trying to bang Keisha, yeah, I'm ballin' on these niggas looking for a creature. It's loyalty over royalty, death before the sauna. Now these niggas getting money, Mr. Screw. It's loyalty over royalty, death before the sauna. Now these niggas getting money, Mr. Screw. 
fucking royalty, right? Royalty over no. royalty. Okay, I did hear it. I thought I was fucking right. I put my crown on loyalty over royalty. You gotta be loyal first while you want to claiming your law. What that mean, loyalty over royalty? Well, I'm trying to... Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Nina Boy in the building. I'm just about to just bring him on right now. Let's give a hand clap first off for Nina Boy because we let the video be his introduction. Right? And uh, first off, tell us what city you represent, Nina Boy. L.A. I'm from Eastern, from the east side of L.A. Okay, that's right. 69th and Main, 69th and Broadway. Oh, grow up on 42nd and Broadway. We down the street from yeah. each other. That's what I'm talking about. Near neighbors. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And now tell me that loyalty. Let's go back to that. Loyalty over royalty. What was that? Loyalty is something that's hard to find. You know, something that you can't define that's, that's worth more than money. Yes. Loyalty is worth everything. Yes, it so is. I choose loyalty over some piece of paper. That's that right. That shit will fuck your life up. That's right. That's all it is is paper. So we choose loyalty over here. That's what I'm talking about. About. I appreciate that. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. And, and, and let them know as no. far as right now, you know how everybody think they popping? Yeah. Right now, not from what you think, but from what you know from the people's reaction. Yeah. I never asked nobody this. What did you notice is just popping about you right now? Is it the video, a certain song? What is it that right now that you notice is popping? I mean, my, Besides inf your fly my ass infrastructure. Car. I always stay humble. That's you know right. what I mean? And I don't put nobody down. I just do me and stay in my right. own lane. There ain't no traffic over there. Hey, and so you're very mean. motivating. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My yeah. birthday, y'all, Chrissy, uh, my girl, Kenny Kane and Nina Boy came back to the pad after the GS yeah. bar. This dude had me on the couch, looks, <laughs> motions, crying and shit, questioning my music. He loved it. Yeah. 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 And I was like, damn, I know I'd be focused on the radio more, but damn, yeah. he like really motivated and shit. We doing the video yeah. now. Yeah, yeah I've been slacking and he yeah. like motivated me. So we're big on that video though. Definitely. Yeah, yeah I appreciate it, man. Yeah. But you know, I can definitely take the 20 minutes and talk about me, but I ain't gonna even do that to you. So right now, as far as Nature Film, that's the brother you working with as far as just putting yeah, the, the yeah, videos my together. Partner, we shooting movies now we doing it all That's, oh yes you are because I'm going to be getting some movie scenes yeah. now what movie are you working on we're doing this movie called Ride or Die and contribute to one of my friends that died her oh, name wow. was TT she was one of the artists I was writing R&B for a lot of people don't know I write R&B too okay uh, we got that track okay yeah. you know what I want to go to that track right quick before do we got yeah. that track ready Kev? I want to put I don't want to push Kev yet get that track ready Kev talk about that track right quick Ride or Die we're going to go straight to that okay. and then we're going to come back to you so yeah. go talk about that track right quick no, talk about it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to throw Ride you off. Ride or die. Yeah, ride or die, man. It was basically, pawn, you know, just a female that's going to thug it out with a nigga through that's thick right. and thin. You know what I mean? Rain, sleet, or snow, she going to stay down. When you go to jail, she got that bail money. So when you come home, she still going right. to treat you like a real nigga, though. That's right. You know? That's right. That's what I'm go talking about. Go rob that bank with you if it get real hard in that's the streets, though. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> like, like, like yeah. set it off around his mom. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. And you said his sister passed. How did she die? Well, she was um leaving the nightclub with her boyfriend and um. I guess he had an enemy. Oh, damn. He seen him slipping and start busting, and she got shot in the head. Ain't that mm. ride or die, right? Yeah. So she, and how long was that song made before she made that? Uh, I mean, before she passed. Actually, we had, I just finished writing it for her. We just recorded it. Like, the next day, she went out to the club and got killed. That's crazy, yeah, right? So, yeah. so she's like riding or die for her dude, yeah, not in so, a bad you know, way to be joking. Once we done with the but... movie, you know, the proceeds going to go to her, to her mama and the kids because she okay. left back some kids behind. So, wow, you know, we're going right. to do a real big and real major. So, you know, we're going to actually put up a GoFund account so we can create a bigger budget just for this movie. That's you know right. I mean? Doing some big shit for the inner city. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. You no log in or log out if y'all fucking with the real streets, though. That's man. what I'm talking about, yeah, man. Shout, we, shout we, the Globe right. Street Wagon, man. Thank you, man. Right, we right, ready right. for that, Kev? Yeah. Let's get to that track. So introduce that track. Introduce it. Introduce your own track. Man. What's happening, man? Radio Land, Radio Land, man. It's Big Nina Boy, man. We're doing a little promo tour, man. For Ride or Die, featuring TT, aka T Couture. Tune in. Let's get it. Yeah. Show you LA, take trips to the bay, cause I move that yay. I 
I'm a certified rider, guaranteed to get paid. But listen, I'm in the kitchen cooking chickens on a mission. And you know I need a murder, mommy bitch. That's with the business. And duct tape the witness if you see him tripping. I ain't going back to jail. I swear to God, it's my witness. Damn. I'm Hey, that was beautiful, man. And she actually had a beautiful voice. Really yeah. good. Really good. Like, yeah. And she did that. Because I'd be mad when I'd be here. So I'm glad that her voice was nice. Because I'd have been knocked her ass still. I'm just playing, y'all. Yeah, it's it's okay. had to say Shit, I couldn't believe I wrote it, though. You know, no, that I was actually nice. Yeah. The whole song for her. Yeah, you going to ghostwrite yeah. me some love song shit. Yeah, I got right? you. Okay. Some some gangsta gangsta love. Love. Yeah. 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 I say I do it all. all her shit. I could write my song to cuss. I need somebody to write me some. I ain't been in love. That's what the topic today. I'm having top of relationships. So I'm learning not to be toxic. So when somebody comes to me, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now, Natural Red is my sister sat next to me, y'all. I didn't even introduce her. She's uh, actually my guest panelist hey, today hey, because she's a queen. You're married, right? Yes, I, I am. A, a, I, yeah, I've been married a little <laughs> over a year. See, uh, oh, that's new. So yeah, I'm a okay. newlywed. Because I think so, I you seen know. you some with the husband, so I said at least yeah. my single mouth could talk about all the shit I want. Yeah. But it's better to have another sister here that's actually in a relationship, married. Yeah. So that's yeah, kind of yeah, why we I want get, you here. Yeah, you feel oh, me? Yeah, to balance me, you know, because my way ain't always work. That's why I'm yeah. by myself. Well, thanks for having me. Um, thanks for having me in this capacity. I'm yeah. an artist, but I'm here today to talk about the relationship factor. You know, yeah. shout out to Global oh, Street no, Way. We're going to talk about you still in the midst of this. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, well, yeah. I'm yeah. talking about all my hey. shit in the midst of y'all. Well, I'm we're going to get all of that. <laughs> okay, we're going to get everything yeah, popping yeah. in. So, okay. And we're going to play a video. Yeah. Hold on. We're going to okay. play one of your videos in a minute. And let us know okay. what video are we playing today. Uh, we're going to play my single. It's out right now called With It. Um, it's uh, produced by Stefan, a.k.a. Roach Killer. Oh, uh, bro, I just knew you was on Brain Road. Yeah, girl, you know, I don't know where his butt is at. Okay. I'm going to call him. But um, And then the video was shot by James Wade. So, oh, okay, um, you know, okay, yeah, James. it was That's it's a right. major one of my major projects off my upcoming release, The Velvet Hammer. Okay. So, um, you know, I'm getting that grinding, grinding like my sister queen over and here. you know what? You talking about I ain't going to do the music the day you lie, because I'm going to take around about two minutes to talk about you before we get into relationship stuff, too. They need to know who Natural Red is. Well, Natural yeah. Red, you've been around for a minute, but I've been in a lot of the uh, extravaganza functions, the Oh, where yeah. you can smoke marijuana, the medicine. Yes, no, yes, anyway. absolutely. And I've been saying I represent. Are you a <laughs> spokesman? Um, for the, for you know what? Yeah, I'm, yeah, actually, you know, I'm Why a, do I say a, it I'm like a the cannabis? Yeah, yeah I'm, a can I'm with the cannabis community, yeah. and I do a lot of 420 performances. Um, yeah. And uh, I've salute been, to Jimmy Diamond because yeah. you can't yeah, hear on the show. Yeah, salute to Jimmy Diamond. Yeah, vote no on the uh, the uh, no on 64. Sure no on 64. Yeah, no on 64. Yeah, vote no on 64. Just to make sure you guys know that they're trying to recriminalize marijuana. But yeah, I'm an a Smoke the vis is what I call myself. Okay, that's okay. I like that. That's new. Yeah. A smoke yeah, that's tight, I'm though. A smoke yeah. I'm just you know, campaigning for that. Activist. I'm a smoke yeah. activist. I'm a smoke But yeah, you know, so I, um, I was at uh, High Life last night, you know. Yeah, just so somebody told yeah. me, shouts out to Kid Cannon. He said that yeah. was popping. I should have oh, been there. Oh, man. It, and it was on it's tonight, too. But yeah, too. Lord have mercy. Yeah, all that walking. Special. But it was dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. You took yeah. a break to rest yeah. your feet to come to Boston today. Sounds like a plan. Well, finish going. Finish saying Okay, well, yeah. So, you know, I have my project working. And as she said, I am a newlywed. I'm married a little bit over a year. So 
congratulations, hand clap for that. Yeah, yeah, I need love. Yeah, yeah. Right. Once nigga get married, she gonna cut yeah. some niggas out, man. So then, I'm gonna cut all out. That's what happened. Well, that's well what not happened. my men. But, uh, I cut some of my men. I cut some niggas out that be mad they don't get me. Yes, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, hopefully, I can provide some some insight on, you know, that type of relationship. But we're gonna get into our topic in the midst of us going back to Nina Boy in a minute. But I had to pity Pat because I wanted to bring both of y'all on at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So I don't talk to Nina Boy for this 40 shit, minutes. Show be almost yeah. over with. Yeah. Bring you on for five minutes yeah. and then this shit be messed up. Yeah. So we're going to have a party right, right. here today yeah. and we're going to enjoy ourselves. Yeah. So back to my man Nina Boy. As yeah, a, uh, shout out to him. Since you're part of dope. my family. Yeah. Do you want to ask my brother? Do you want to ask him a question? You know what? Um, I know it hurts every time you hear that song. Yeah. yeah. You know, so... Um, what um, I already know I mean I know the answer to this it's like you're motivated I know that the fact that she's gone will makes you more motivated to get that out there and do what you gotta do with it so um, do you feel like that's giving you an extra drive and yeah. an extra push to get out here and do all you can do because she's not here and you want the world to hear what she left behind yeah no doubt I told her I was gonna run, I was gonna run up a check for it uh, once we actually got in the game but I've been around I've been writing for a lot of artists yeah. but uh, with her it was something special about her voice okay. you know she didn't believe in herself plus wow. she was trying to write her own music so when I wrote her music she couldn't believe it she made my well, music make sure you're talking to that mic cause so, I want you know, to I just, hear you I just dialed in with her and I told her like no matter what I'm gonna push your ass the whole way through That's you know right. what I mean I was pushing her picking her up taking her to the studio every day so when I got that call I was ready to go knock something down for it, to be honest with yeah. you. But when I hear it, though, it, 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 it's, it's a beautiful feeling, but it's also a struggle. That's yeah. right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, shouts out to TT. Rest in peace. Man, man. That's right. Well, TT going to live through Boston. Yeah, yeah. we're going to keep her going. That. You know what I mean? We're going to yeah. keep appreciate it going. It. Appreciate yeah. it. She left us with something worth listening to. So appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Now, since I was out here today with the kids in the community, me, uh, JG, and Supreme, have you been doing anything with the kids in the community, Nina yeah, Boy? I always do it with them. I, I, shit, I always go to uh, uh, to the little um, it's a little daycare I go to okay. you know what I mean I, I used to go there back in the day and shit okay. I go read books to them I just go help her out that's right you know I mean I'm always giving back so you know I got numerous charities I fuck with so that's what I'm talking about yeah I'm about. always campaigning for the streets though I'm a street nigga though that's so, right you know, that's what I'm talking about. Well, in my through. other life, I'm 12 years old. I take charity the donations. To help me. <laughs> <laughs> I need backpacks and stuff. People think I'm a little girl. Y'all didn't catch on. I look like yeah, a little girl sometimes to people. Life. So I was saying in my other life, I'm a kid. I was trying to beg. You know, black people are trying to beg. So, y'all, we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going, and I'm going to keep going in between. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this like this. We're going to kind of get into the, the uh, relationship stuff and to get into our topic and then we'll still go back and forth if I want to ask Nina Boy something out of nowhere that's just how Bossy do it you feel me she's all over the place you know what I'm saying like a queen on the chessboard I'm over here I'm over there I'm knocking them off the pond over there knock them off and then I'm back over here on top and I won so we're going to do it like that so everybody in here can get they you know what I'm saying peace out but I want to learn something because I'm single I'm tired of being single this is not a wedding ring I did not say I got married this is not a Beyonce like Jay Z no this is Wrong finger. I need love, y'all. So I want to have a my discussion on relationships. When to leave toxic situations. And it doesn't even have to be love. It can be friendships or whatever. But uh, definitely 323-965-1600. I haven't seen the phones ring. And I need y'all to call in, you know, and speak your piece. Say what you got to say. Uh, my, my sister, Bougie LaFlair, was supposed to come. Unfortunately, she had a flat tire. Nobody's out there, is it? Was there somebody out there trying to come in now? Okay, I'm just making sure because uh, I'm not sure if the sister's going to be able to make it. We've been promoting her, so we hope she do get to get here. Just had to mention that. So other than that, uh, we're going to get into this topic. And basically, relationships, when to leave a toxic situation. I'm going to start by my experience this week, y'all, and I'm not going to say names. I ain't going to blast nobody. Book, book shot and all that. I don't feel like that today. I've been with the kids. But I'm realizing, uh, you know, you've been around people that are friends, and you be like, dang, you know, you love them, you love them, you deal with people for so many years. But it's like now when you're around them, there's some type of uh, energy that, that that's on them. I'm saying this specifically. And it becomes uh, the irritating. And then other people see that spirit irritating you also, and it's actually bad because I see uh, people have noticed my irritation from someone. So I recognize even when my son was like, mama, no. That's like dealing with a kid. I realized it wasn't just me. So I've been kind of feeling bad because I was like, I'm going to just cut them off, you you know, mm -hmm. and then knowing what people go through. And it's like, you know, no, and everybody know how to pop up in my house, you know, because I'm still where I've been for since 2003. And it gets tiresome. So, you know, for myself speaking again, 
I uh, actually was battling with that, and I try not to be so mean about it because mm-hmm. then when you stop dealing with people, they gonna lie. You know, on the Facebook, they make a post. Don't tell why you ain't fucking with me. Right. Something like tell yeah. the real reason yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. And people never do that. Yeah. So, so I don't confuse anyone. I'm just snatching say just dealing with a friend of mine. I've been on for a minute. They're just so freaking. Fu- I'm gonna say the word fucking irritating. You can cuss yes. here, y'all. They're so fucking irritating, right? It's like. This is like dealing with my son. I don't go through this shit with them. You know, so it's like, I don't even want to deal with you no more. So I, I you know, as far as relationships, I don't know, would you all start with as yeah. far as, uh, just, in, is that, have you dealt with anyone? Uh, okay, let me say my ending, because there's always need to be a solution. Yeah. My solution, and what I'm going to do to this person is I'm going to still treat them with love. I'll be cussing the shit out of them. Y'all I'll be cussing at their ass like they're my child. I'm going to practice to not even really deal with them at all. That's going to stop my cussing. And I'm not going to deal with them out of hate. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, just feed them with the long spoon but my thing is to separate if I separate myself from that spirit and that energy because I can see it through them and on them then I'll be alright so that's my solution to my little situation I have for this week I'm going to separate and then when they see how it is not being around me and how comfortable and convenient it is versus everybody else then they'll miss my friendship and learn to probably get their mental back right Amen. but in a way they're kind of balancing their own huh. and chemical balances it. so it's like kind of they fought for taking psych meds huh. so we got a caller uh, let me take my crown off you feel me? Love to you before royalty. Global Street Wave in the building. We got a caller. Thank you for calling. Global Street Wave. Screaming Bossy in the building. Who's calling? Hello, Bossy. This is, this is Jimmy. How are you doing? How, hey. you, doing? How you doing? Um, Natural rare. Hey, That's Jimmy, good, what's Jimmy. going on, baby? Just up, y'all. This is Jimmy, another... This is my brother in the rmconair.com. He has another brother has a show, the Hip Hop Show, just so y'all know. Diamonds. You feel me? What's up, Jimmy, baby? How you doing? What's up, JG? Yeah. You got a hand clap yeah. on my shit, Jimmy. Yeah, <laughs> I got a good one. No, I, uh, I want to say uh, for for the relationship comment, I would say uh, it's, it's key to separate who somebody is in your head versus who they are in reality, and I'll just leave it at that. Okay, That's separating great. someone versus who's in your head versus who they are in reality. That's a deep one. You, yeah, I got to write that you, one down. You, you be telling yourself a dream sometimes. You Wait, know? what you said? Would you say that last part? Separate. I said you be telling yourself a dream sometimes, cause, cause you, in your head you, you think, okay, this is how it's gonna go down. But then in the in reality, they they only a certain way. Yeah, you're right, and that's why I be battling with that person, yeah. because in reality, yeah. I realize you're just a fucking retardo. <laughs> but in my head, you're I a friend you that had, I love. Yeah, exactly. You no, know, now in my head, this is my friend. Yeah, like yeah, I be telling myself, yeah. oh, my nigga, I've been knowing her for so long, my nigga, they didn't help me with you. They like, mama, no, yeah. like that's toxic. Yeah. And I'm like, you freaking right. I tried today, and that shit just I'm through. It's so right. thank you for that, man. In reality. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> remember, Jimmy. remember, register to vote. Right, right. We got one more month left. Yeah. And, uh, no That's right. Any last words, Jimmy? We're trying to keep this stuff Jimmy. going. He said no on 64. Oh, no yeah. on 64, y'all. No on Prop 64. Yep, yep. Already. You heard me. All right. Yeah, <laughs> nah, Jimmy. I heard that. Love, oh, you, love, yeah. you, love, you, love you. Love you. Thank you. Thank you, too, thank you. bro. No, it's loud. <laughs> All right, baby. All right. Uh oh, she you cut him off. Oh, she, we sorry, Jimmy. That's right, it. Have a good night. Yeah. Okay, that's I turned it up too loud right here. So mm-hmm. now, as far as uh, we go, actually we'll give what we'll do to help the people, y'all. And so we won't blabber. We'll do like I did. You can use an example. It could be from a long time ago. It don't matter. It could be yesterday. I used to read some shit. This motherfucker right. irritate me. Right. Almost um, with you shoot him with a gun. I'm just playing. Yeah. But yeah, so you have an experience of dealing with a toxic situation. Absolutely. You, and now you I, dealt with it. I, you know what? And uh, you got to treat toxic people like a bad limb. You got to cut them off. Hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because their energy will fall over you. If you got a toxic person that's a dark cloud, your sunny day becomes a dark cloud. Yep. When you, Every okay. time you're around this yep. person, energy transfers. That's what it does. So you got to cut those people off. And yes. I do it. And my son, he be like, Mama, you'll cut anybody off. Yes, yes I will. Yes. If your energy ain't right for me. And I don't care how. We hold on to people based on time. Yeah. But sometimes their time is up. Thank you. So you know what I'm saying? It's not Thank meant you. for you to hold on to somebody for a lifetime just because I've known you 30 years if, 30, you. if the 31st year you don't mean me no good right then I got to cut Let you, you go. Go. different you know? seasons different yeah. reasons yeah. there yeah. you go season uh-huh. yeah your season might be up maybe you had a 30 year season and I'm trying to yeah. make it 35 and I'm blocking huh. other people coming in my life because I want to hold on to this toxic relationship uh-huh. and you know when it's toxic because you feel it yep. when it becomes a hassle when you 
Oh, Lord. Yes. Oh, I be, I'm cussing you know too much. Yeah, no. I'm not but I'm just saying, you know shit. how you got people that I you deal cussing? with, but when you know you got to deal with them, the way you feel, you be like, oh, Lord, I got to go. You really don't got to deal with them. You draining oh, yourself. Man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, exactly. It's a so choice. That's how you know it's toxic, and that's when you know it's t- need, you need to step back, fall back, mm-hmm. give them space, yeah. do your space, because you you know, you know don't necessarily have to, you know, fuck you, bitch. I ain't never talking to you again, yeah, but, motherfucker. Yeah, you you know, know, unless they do something that warrants that. But before they get you to that, point because once that you realize they're toxic then everything they do irritates you yes uh, you can't yes, stand to right. see them breathe yeah. i don't want stop breathing <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying <laughs> you irritate me just it my breath yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That it's like a build up yeah. so you gotta give yourself some space from yes. that person back up before you lose your control yes you know and your and good you karma and you your know, good energy you, like your you good said energy, that's yeah you become a dark cloud and lose your light you know so that's it you feel it you know we like i said we energy and when you run into sometimes you know it instantly yep. and sometimes it takes a while yep. sometimes you don't even realize how a person is because like you said you have this idea of them in your head yeah versus, no like jimmy, like jimmy said, said shit yeah. like jimmy me, said jimmy credit. you I'll have take this idea of, of what a person is in your head versus yeah. who they really are yeah. and a lot of people are in stuck in relationships whether it's love friendship based on the person they think somebody oh he gonna change and that's oh, why he ain't got one because i'll be quick to leave oh, yeah. Yeah. screw me good today you can fuck my brains out your ass act tricky tomorrow nigga I'm be like bye I'm gonna find some more good dick to forget about your shit and then I'm gonna tell his ass don't say you in love baby just keep hitting it right <laughs> and now I'm trying to get in the hit right I need somebody to stay at home in that right oh okay y'all yeah, yeah I'm tired of playing with myself quick, and watching yeah. pornos no no so um nature nature boy and I'm thinking about nature and my sex drive and everything <laughs> Nina boy Nina boy at the same time cause he handsome I don't wanna get beat up by girlfriends <laughs> so I'm confused and shit let me be normal. So Nina boy, you guys think you can share with us just from relationships as far as your homies and the, you know, maybe um maybe for the brothers. How about maybe if you can help the brothers out? Is there a certain thing that you can do to tell brothers how to I'll do what you want to talk about? But in, in this form I mean, of what you know. What, 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 what my get down is is it's, it's, it's not rocket science. You know what I mean? Everything is a choice. You know what I mean? You. So it's like if you got that energy in your face, that's because you choose to have Thank that negative you, like energy. I was doing, yeah? They pull up just I'm not fucking with you. That's it. Just let them know from the dribble (laughs) chop them off chop them off real fast see this my whole thing you gotta you can't act off emotion you gotta act on what you know and what you know is this motherfucker ain't good for you you get what I'm saying so just put the feelings to the side and just thank that nigga I appreciate how you doing you look nice today go on keep on walking go put your pajamas on tell him something he don't wanna hear you know what I'm saying and just keep it going that's Real talk. It. I like that yeah. choice because yeah. I chose to keep dealing with my, with my buddy. Yeah. I thought I could keep dealing with so they just kept fucking irritating me. I'm like, this shit, you irritate me. <laughs> yeah. Now everything you do, you breathe wrong, nigga. You stop that. I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, right. Hold your nose, nigga. I I stay, I stay, I stay, hey, on the real shit, though. Yeah. Don't cough right now. I'm talking on the phone to Chrissy, nigga. Yeah. You interrupted our conversation and shit. Go in the bathroom. To JG, nigga. Yeah. No, yeah. did you flush my toilet, nigga? Did you wash your hands when you came out? I heard that. Hey, if they yeah. watch it, they're going to be like, that bitch talking about me. I ain't going to tell you that. Um, they let's, call in right now. Do you got something? Call in, nigga. They ain't watching if they retarded ass. They probably riding around somewhere acting retarded, talking mm-hmm. to themselves <laughs> like they've been doing. JG, you got something you can do to help the people in Chinese tell them no I'm just playing you got something you want to tell the people how to deal as far as with toxic relationships yeah I mean I'm, I'm dealing with one right now myself um, I can honestly <laughs> tell you that and um, you know like uh, like the sister said man best thing to do is just cut them off um, you know I got mad love for, for this person you know, but um, you know, you, you just gotta separate the business and the personal. And exactly, you know, uh, you know, some people are just, you know, very good for for personal, and and they're just not built for business. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. So, yeah. yeah, we just gotta learn to separate that. And if we can separate that, we could all succeed, and the relationship could be successful. You exactly. Know I, mean? yeah, I think right. that uh, in, in both parties, people make deals, and you shouldn't make no deal because if you wanted a deal, you should have got a sports agent. You right? shouldn't make no deal uh, because. Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, she got some good pussy, or oh he got some good dick. What about the main quality? Oh, he got why you really want to dug with that yeah. motherfucker? Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You wanted that deal? Get a sports agent. If you go fuck with that nigga, fuck with him for that reason. That's real Don't talk. try to find something else in that That's person. That's why I don't go with nobody for good sex because I realized the good sex was the ones I wasn't in a relationship with no way with. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being truthful. The ones I was doing it to was mediocre. I was like, 
Uh, I don't have a nigga say I love you and feel better, actually. <laughs> so I ain't looking for a deal. Tune in, man. I ain't looking for a deal. Tune in, y'all. 323-965-1600. We had Jimmy call in, y'all. Yeah. I know y'all watching. I know y'all don't want to call in because y'all scared to tell y'all business and y'all don't want Boston to cut your ass out. That's all. <laughs> so anybody want to just, you know, like I say, this is freestyle, just a panel. Anything we can say, this show, even though we're live, yeah. I share it like a motherfucker. I want y'all to share, but people always gonna go back and watch the link. Yeah. So people gonna always see what we say. We ain't worried about, you know, who right now right, ain't and right, is right, calling yeah. in. We want to feed the people as they watch it. Yeah. So is it anything uh, else you might can add to it before we go to a DJ Cali mix right quick? Sure. I'm gonna say this because, I, you know, people think it's crazy, but, um, like, I met my husband at the grocery store. Some real spur of the moment bullshit. I'm out and okay. somewhere way off from where I live. Okay. I just happened to turn up in a Smart and Final. Had never been in Smart and Final. All right. Went in the store, messing around, was with my friend clowning. And then I seen him and I was like, oh, damn. And I went and ran and told my friend, girl, did I see my husband in aisle four? You know what I'm saying? Just clowning. Yeah, just clowning. And it really um, okay. ended up being my husband so what I want to wow. say ladies is, and it was he was someone normally that I would never have talked to wow. you know what I'm saying but it was just like we talk about that energy That's so wow. don't ignore um, you know those things and look over you know don't be shallow you know because like I told him if I had looked at you he, he got blue eyes my husband got blue eyes so I was so captivated by his blue eyes I never looked at his shoes uh -oh. my shallow mm. ass if I had looked at his shoes I wouldn't have talked to him oh, well, <laughs> be quiet okay because was, was just saying, I was just saying, yeah I was just I'm keeping it like real. Like he said, making deals. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't I didn't even get down to that point and because good, I was the good I did because I would have messed up a great relationship based on being out. shallow, thinking like, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? So don't be like that, you know, look outside the box and just be open and make sure you That's listen right. and be in tune to the where the universe is guiding you. Yes. Because right. I was driving by there and something was like, Oh, it's Martin Final. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go in here. I've never been in here before. Let me go in here. You know, I mean, I didn't need shit. You know what I'm saying? I had, you know, yeah, I just went in there. So, so I what just you end up buying once you got that number up? Kind of. Kind The funny thing is I met two guys that day. Oh, you played. I met two guys. I met two guys, I met two guys and I end up uh, meeting my husband the next day. Uh, we hung out, you know what I'm saying? And it was just He like, was the better pick than that other one? Yeah. You know, the other guy owned the business. Okay. But my, my, uh, my husband, it was just, you know, the energy. He was from, he believes and he had that damn accent and yeah, shit. So, nasty, I was freaky like, Belizean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew she felt right. So I ain't even gonna say nothing else. The blue eyes and shit. I was like, oh shit. That's yeah. right. Man. So don't be shallow, y'all. Don't, don't be, be shallow. shallow. Don't judge people. That would I'm ju I was judgmental until well, I, don't I met like him. You clearly was successful, though. But yeah. huh? You was clearly successful, though. I was clearly <laughs> successful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's oh right. yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. exactly. At the end of the day, <laughs> right? Well, I'm right here yeah. with my little chick bling ring from Jerry. <laughs> yeah. shit. I no, mean, come on here. Yeah. So that's wrong. And then we got to still get to your video. We're gonna play that video. But since I said DJ Cali mix, let's go to DJ Caliber right quick, and let's bring y'all with. Just another quick mix, y'all. We'll be right back. Global Street Wave, y'all. Let's turn up right quick. I need y'all to party, shake your ass. Old ladies, pull your teeth out. Are <laughs> <laughs> you gonna know, make them fall? <laughs> Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. What you, need. what you need? My nicks run the game, we ain't never leave, never leave. Counting up some money, we ain't never sleep, never sleep. You got V12, I got 12 V. Yeah. Got bottles, got weed, got my money. I'm all the way. Shorty, up. what you want? I got what you need. need. Shorty, what you want? I got what you need. Hey. Shorty, what you want? I got what you need. I'm all the way. Yeah. Up. Hey. I'm all the way up. I'm all the way up. Hey. I'm all the way up. Hey. I'm all the way up. Hey. Can't help but feel like I have no one, nigga. But they call you where you from, nigga. But they call you where you from, nigga. But they call you where you from, nigga. I can't help but feel like I have no one, nigga. One on eight bus catching. Blue line train riding west side of with the young extras. These old rules came with no questions. Wrong to live by, but it's no exceptions. 
was young and reckless with loaded weapons. It's code of ethics and self-destruction. When it's over, you left with nothing. This life ain't it, boy. Better check the subtext or the fine print. Felt entitled to this fly shit. Felt like every bad bitch should be on my dick. Felt like niggas lying to us on some fraud shit. Fuck it, that's just how the ball bounce on some golf shit. I'm right here with all my brothers on some squad shit. All money, one nation under God shit. Neighborhood MC hustle on some ball shit. AKA nigga born broke out of dime What they call you, where you from, nigga? In my city, that was question number one, nigga. Looking at the legend I become, nigga. I can't help but feel like I'm the one, nigga. What they call you where you from, nigga? What they call you where you from, nigga? What they call you where you from, nigga? I can't help but feeling like I am the one, nigga. This is bad. Look, we can be talking about this. We can be ragging about that. They ain't even got no scratch. Oh, lame ass nigga, you at? Base a long woolly lad. Stop between my bum and then my pistol and my grip. Oh my chest. One of them, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shots out to my freaking Tupac. Already. Big sight. All eyes on me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all. We've been talking about the toxic relationships. We're going to switch it up real quick. We had Natural Red giving us some uh, advice. Definitely. My man Nina Boy in the building. Thanks to Jimmy Diamond calling in. But I want to make sure I play this video from my queen, Natural Red. It's called uh-huh. With It. So do me a favor, queen. We gonna we went from our mix, but we want to yeah. get to this video real let's quick. Because the show's about go. to be over in a little I bit. I know. So, so let's introduce that video. Here we go. This is my video, With It. It's off my upcoming project, The Velvet Hammer. Uh, the song is produced by Stefan, a.k.a. Rose Killer. The video Video is produced by James Wade with his Mechanics Film Company. Um, check me out. This is oh, what I do. And right quick, I have on a natural red hey, T-shirt. So girl. is there somewhere where people can go get these shirts? Um, you know what? You can hit me on my Facebook page and order okay. your size. And, tell them and I will Facebook, send it even to though you're you gonna tell them later. Um, yeah, I'm natural red. Uh, Facebook slash natural red. Instagram and Twitter is at natural red diva. That's but right, right now we're gonna get to that video with it. There you if go. You with it, yeah. you with it. Throw them dubs <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No. <laughs> Yeah. Long Beach, Old City. That's South how Central in the building. Okay. Hey, 
you all I'm most wanted. With it. Niggas know I'm 100. With it. Live my life with my finger on the trigger. With it. And I don't fuck with bitch niggas. With it. My squad certified. With it. Fuck riding, we kill or die. With it. Y'all niggas don't want no issue. With it. Have your family with Kleenex tissues. When we pull up to your dough and hop out. Pull the chop out, clear you niggas whole block out Time for you bitches to clock out That's the type of shit I'm about And everything that I flow about That's the shit that I know about yeah. Stay smoking out, blowing out hot octane yeah. I take that gas to the brain yeah. No seeds and lots of crystals yeah. I got money, weed, and lots of pistols Money, get it, gas, hit it, game, spit it Wall, I'm most wanted. With it. Niggas know I stay blunted. With it. Not a lumberjack, but I chop them trees. With it. And I'm far from a rat, but I love that cheese. With it. Call me the baker, cause I make cake. With it. Going full speed ahead with no brakes. With it. Keep my grass cut low for snakes. With it. Them hoes be trying to infiltrate. You mad? Mad cause you ain't got shit, ain't got the drive to go get shit And your current nigga trying to hit this But if he fuck with you, we can't get this All he gon' get is dismissed Never fuck behind a bitch with an itch Only thing on my mind is getting rich So you perpetrate when you congratulate From a mile away, I smelt your hate The jealousy is all on your face Stevie Wonder can see you fake Money, get it, gas, hit it, game with it, she with it, with it, with it, with it, she with it. A wall, I'm most wanted. With it, street diva, I stay stunting. With it, natural red bone with a body like a coke bottle. With it, natural born killer with a face like a supermodel. With it, I'm a liquor drinker and a weed smoker. With it, I do it cause me be the loca. With corporate and the coca. With it. Meeting million dollar quotas. From Tijuana up to North Dakota. Mix it up with the bacon soda. First I hit your city, then I take it over. It's the little stepping out the Range Rover. Type of chick the niggas act strange over. When they see this ass, it's game over. All they wanna do is bring that change over. They keep my pockets full of fatty. With it. They keep me paparazzi ready. With it. Anybody try to test me? They turn your head into spaghetti Money, get it, gas, hit it, game, spit it, she with it, with it, with it, with it, she with it, money, get it, gas, hit it, game, spit it, she with it. Hey, y'all, right quick. Uh, I just made a joke. Yeah. I'll be shatter right quick. I don't know who in here accepting donations or got a GoFundMe before we go any further. I have a GSWMGMT at gmail.com. If you guys want to support, with any type of donations or anything with the you know the, as far as our shows and what we're doing, all I'm saying is donations. I'm I'm begging. The, the key word is donations, right? So if y'all would like the show and y'all want to donate, we can keep paying the airtime. It's not free to be here, you know all that good stuff. I can get some natural red shirts, give it to the callers, give them away. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Buy absolutely. some other shirts. Whatever y'all want to donate. So I'm talking too much right now, but if y'all want to donate, real talk to some uh, local to the show, wave, do that. 
And yeah. do you have any causes that you need donations for, any organizations? Um, you know what? Right now, everybody just donate to uh, teaching your children there how you to go. be safe out here in these streets. Uh, donate time to your kids. You, um, you know, uh, guide them, too. you know, and, and uh, make sure they stay safe out here in these streets. And they, we are at war. That's, yeah. Um, yeah. Do not oh, get yeah. it twisted. Yeah. Um, this is That's not right. a, a, a test run. Right. This shit is fucking serious. If yeah. you have Thank kids... You. Yeah. Teach them how, you know, unfortunately. See, we didn't even, even get to go there today yet. Go on and go. With compliance, we can't, you know, uh, uh, tell them that even saying yes sir, no sir might not mean they come alive, but just teach them, you know, at, in that moment, do all they can to make sure they come home to you. That's you know what? Forget the donations, what I was going to say, because you just brought it back to reality. Now, that was, I was glad I was playing. I was for real, but I was. You know, feel it. Yeah. I don't know what the hell, but you just said some real stuff. I had actually some things I wanted to say. And what we're going to do right quick, we're going to give a moment of silence. Yes. And I'll say what that was for. Number one, that was for Tupac and Biggie, because that's some leaders in the rap game that's gone. Uh, how the game would be if they were still here and all that, we're not discussing that. But I'm at to salute them. My real salute in the moment of silence were for all the victims, no matter what color they are, who's lost their lives to the police shootings. Last week, uh, it's got back crazy. Uh, we don't have a lot of time to do a lot of that talking, but I'm glad Natural Red went there with the donating the time to the kids and all that stuff because we needed to bring that up. We lost uh, Shorty Low to a car accident, so I definitely wanted yeah. to send our condolences to him. Yeah. But I do have my little, new, my little notes right quick. You put me back on my notes okay. so definitely um i don't have offhand the different brothers that got killed uh, and all that stuff over the weekend but definitely there's a lot of stuff going on i do want to say this right quick i went to a tupac tribute tonight uh last night salute the classic kathy and i kind of went tupac on him uh tupac got a video on youtube where he was talking about how we always blaming a man a white man we need to take responsibility and it seems like when i spoke that at a tupac event this sister on my dong on left didn't get the tupac's message before he left but she's at his tribute so I actually the Pac, Lady Pac came out I stepped on the podium and saw my Facebook page and I went up there to the brother who was relaxing his world and everybody was bored listening to him I went up there and grabbed that mic and I had to justify myself because she was sideborn because he mentioned Black Lives Matter my point is all lives matter I said if Black Lives Matter why the hell we ain't acting a fool rallying and shit on the TV when all of the black people killing each other up in the neighborhood she want to say it's propaganda I don't give a shit about propaganda when we were over there in Africa with kings and queens and having royal goals and shit why no white people over there bothering us. When they came over there and they conquered our land, Constantinium, that's when all the fuckery came. But my point is, before that, they weren't there when we were ruling. So stop blaming everything on the white men, even though they got builder birds, Bohemian Groves, they own the shit, running shit, fucking up. Air. We know that. We know what they're doing. Committee 300. We know all of that. Three, whatever. That's not the point. The point is, black people at some point got to take responsibility for their community and their kids and brothers need to stop taking their guns, shooting at their own brothers. And when that sister wanted to debate with me on that, I actually went in. You feel I me? Mean? I had to get up in front of everybody and they probably thought like, what the fuck wrong with her? Well, we had a Tupac tribute. Evidently, y'all don't know what the fuck Pac was talking about because Pac was on waking people up and Pac was cussing at black people for blaming shit on the white man and not taking responsibility responsibility for themselves. So I had to go there and say that. And definitely is we got to take responsibility for ourselves, y'all and teach our kids. There's a lot of shit going on. Everybody woke up today because they're Christians. You got Jehovah's Witnesses. You got the Muslims. Everybody divided with this damn religion created by the white man that we be talking about. So we need to let a lot of that stuff aside, start coming together and start communicating on how we as a people can uplift each, people, uplift each other and protect each other if shit do break out in our communities because they are setting up something. Now that's another story we can't get into that but on the end note my man Nina boy's in the building I'm gonna bring it back down a notch cause I had a reflash back from last night to where I got up and started banging on the motherfucker I thought I was <laughs> she, I thought I was gripping she was blood or something but if anybody loves Tupac you know Tupac is about waking up people yeah, and he yeah. not just about talking about the white man the white man he got white man's world yeah but he said we as black people gotta wake up so if anybody love Pac or anybody love himself stop blaming everything on the damn white man and understand he got government fund as hell I got city records Recognize the day. Let me show y'all my recognition one more time. Okay? City of Los Angeles. Recognition. Thank you, Nakia Brown, with a nonprofit organization called Rebuild Your Laugh. Get a nonprofit organization. Guess what? That white man got money. He'll give us for grants. So while we complain about the white man, get the damn man money while you can. Stop complaining about bullshit. You feel me? Where's our right stores there. at? Where's, well, where's our uh, things at for us? We ain't even got an underground bunker. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to stop. We ain't got yeah. enough time. So that's another yeah, show. I'm trying to talk about relationships Lord. and trying to bring a normal, but this revolutionary 
here and worry. I got natural red when to come here, put me up with my dumb ass. <laughs> she done went to the kids and I had to get back to reality. Okay. So before we leave out of here, y'all, we want to definitely thank you for tuning in. I got to go back to my man, Nina Boy. Nina Boy been working on this movie. So I need the guests for the day. Uh, definitely to let us know right quick. One more thing of last things about the movie, Nina Boy. Okay. And let these people know where they can find you, baby. Yeah, once again, Radio Land, Radio Land, man. My name Nina Boy, but uh, it started off, I just did this new movie myself. It's called uh, Summer to Remember. It's finna drop in two months on Netflix. And uh, me and my, my business partner, Nature, Nature Films, man, we starting to put these movies together. We got this shit called Ride or Die. Y'all can reach me on, on Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, my email, I am Nina Boy. Everything Nina Boy. All you gotta do is Google me, you go find me. It ain't too hard to find. So um, just tune in for what we got coming out. And uh, definitely wanna get back in one of these flicks, man, because you know oh, she, definitely. she a murder mama. She beautiful. She yes. sex. She got the talent in. She got the grind. I'm gonna so. do some nasty little Holly Berry little host thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get naked for y'all. She's so silly. I wanna see it. Dollars. I don't want a thousand dollars. Hey, Kit Kat, I don't want a thousand dollars. My scene. I want a billion. I'm gonna get naked for y'all. Show some titties. Yeah. I don't get my no fake titties though, y'all. I'm gonna just have the push ups. Now, uh, Nature Boy, go in there real quick and get a shameless plug. You doing these bomb ass shameless. videos? You yeah. wanna get a shameless plug? Nature yeah, yeah. Nature finna come, come tell y'all all our links on our website. Go to long we all way. can actually yeah. tune in and you know tap in with us and what we got right. going on though. Yeah. Oh yeah, well yeah. so many chords. Okay. Now do your shameless plug, Nature Boy, because they watch these shameless. videos. This is about to be the on and on. Do we about to get this video done. Nature right. Boy, let these people know where they can find you at, baby. We about to end the show. Yeah, hit me up at Nature TV 16 on YouTube. You can catch up with all the latest. Uh, Nina Boy, all the other artists we're working with. Man, we are making plays, man. We're trying to make history. So uh tune in, man. Definitely. And let them know where they can find you at, Queen. Oh, I am a Natural Red Diva on Instagram and Twitter. Facebook is Natural Red. Snapchat is The Natural Red. Uh, NaturalRedMusic.com is my website. And just check me out. Do what I do, what I do, y'all. You know, That's thanks right. for having me, Queen. No problem, I love Queen. It. And I've been telling you, so yeah. I got you on. And one more okay. shout out. I got it. I don't give no bunch of shout outs, and I ain't doing that. GMST Radio. I have to get his brother DJ Maestro a shout out. I was thinking the other day, dang, I need to reach out to a radio to play my music. And just so happened, I go on Facebook and I got an inbox saying. Hey, Hey, I want to put you, play a song tonight. Can you send me one? Well, I don't even know the brother. And it was out there in Bay City, Texas, because I'm not mistaken. It's in Texas. Yeah. And he played my on and on. Okay. It was on speaker radio app. I listened to it, got to it on time. Oh. So definitely, I have been uh, already just playing his um, pictures up there, whatever, as far as his flyer. You guys check out GMST Radio on Facebook. Global Street Wave, Screaming Bossy, without the G, B O S C E. Y'all go check me out. Also, uh, go like our like pages. Uh, Alka Shatter, y'all go like the like page. Um, other than that, y'all, y'all stay positive. Keep y'all heads up. And, um, you know, study to show thyself approved. And I'm not talking about your Bible. I'm talking about life. You know, mm. study what's going on and stop being so scared at the truth. When people are mm. telling you the truth, just wake up. We thank y'all, man, for That's tuning in again. JG and Brian, y'all got some last year's words y'all want to say to the people, baby? Yeah, yeah. be you go first. <laughs> All right, okay, well, I'll go first. Well, you know, uh, we did this event for the kids today. You know, I just want to let everybody know the kids is our future. Yes. They're real important, you know. Take that time to, you know, inspire the child, you know, because they got, you know, they got some years to grow. Yes. We need to help out these kids and make a safe way for them. That's right. Amen. So that's why I'm constantly doing stuff. My promise to Tupac was to continue to help out the kids and inspire them. Hallelujah. That's what I'm doing. Continuing right. on to today. That's our new word, Brian. Go on, JG. Make it quick before I get in trouble yeah. with Mr. Oh, Morris. Yeah. Shouts out to Mr. Morris. I love you. <laughs> My bad, Mr. Morris RMC. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm still taking donations right now. No, you um, can say that. Just make it Just make it fast. It's yeah, time you guys to go. We're we going all the time. This right here. Alka this card right here. Alka Shad on Instagram. Oh, We're taking donations of dogs, kids, everything. Y'all go study that alkaline water. Stop talking about you can just squeeze lemons in the water. That's trying not to help the, the community. Mm -hmm. We give them out the free water, you know what I mean? So come out with the clothes. Anything extra you guys have, I'm taking it in for donations. Yes. So we're going to be doing some uh, footwork. There you go. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Clean out and those closets. That's right. you, definitely. And we thank y'all again, man. Salute to my man, Kev, a.k.a. Mac Brown. Global Street Wave at y'all again. Season 3. Episode 3. Y'all go stay tuning in 
RMC on air YouTube channel and watch all the replays for all the shows. We all need y'all views, y'all. We thank you again. Salute to Nature Boy. Nature Boy. Salute to Nature. Nina Boy. Natural Red, y'all. My Lady Bougie. The sister called a flat tire. So we pray that she make it, uh, you know, off that freeway safe. I'm going to call and check on her now. We out of here, y'all. Global Shout Streetway. Shout out to Bossy. Global, Global Streetway. Peace. Shout out to the city Salute. council district 8. Bless me with that certificate. Yeah. <laughs>